Yeah, we are. And then we'll find out next week when Bama plays Mike Leach's squad, which I think is a, is worthy of a discussion because they're they're doing it a bunch of different ways. And to me, it's the defense. Like we've known Mike Leach forever. Who doesn't love a post game interview with Coach Leach? I mean, who doesn't <laughs> right. love like a Tuesday night midnight phone call from Coach Leach? Like they're amazing, man. Like I, I miss him out here on the West Coast, but. He's finding his way, you know, and he's a guy everywhere he's gone year one has been a challenge because it's either his way or you're gone. Like he does not play in that regard. And I think he's got like his roster. We know he has his style of play. I mean, look look at that side of the SEC. If Bama's to lose, I mean, it gets kind of yeah. interesting next week. You know, and, and I think it's fair. I don't, I'm don't. i not ready to talk about Mississippi State like going to the playoff or winning the national championship, but I think it's fair to give them a little bit of love because I think around the country, a lot of times it's, yeah, of course they're Alabama and Georgia and what'd you say earlier, Florida, Tennessee, and that was kind of the, the team and LSU. And right now Mississippi State's playing like you could argue three, four, five within the league, right? Ole Miss, Mississippi State, I don't know, coin toss. Right, Tennessee will find out on Saturday. Kentucky, they had a loss over the weekend. What do you, what do you think about Leach? And as the games finally get a little bit better and more competitive in the SEC, what what they've been, what they've been able to do? To me, I think after LSU loss, I think they kind of rallied back. Um, yeah. And they've had I mean, two convincing wins. I mean, 42-24 against A and M, a Beat really down. convincing win against against Arkansas and the Clint Sterners of the you know what I'm saying of the world. Yeah. But it's just like, <laughs> um. But I just I think they're like they obviously are gelling well as a team. They're scoring points. I feel like Mike Leach is notoriously known to put points on the board and manufacture a scheme that works for the players he has. And so I think, and you look at their schedule. Like you said, they got Kentucky and they got Bama. I think it will be two good tests. If they can get to get through this Kentucky game and get Bama run for their money. I think it could be interesting. Yeah. I think Clint. Yeah. No. Look, man. I, I just I I believe. Um, and always have believed about Mike Leach and, and the Air Raid. They can beat any team in America on any given Saturday. Look out. But right. they can also turn around. <laughs> and get blown out. <laughs> and get blown out by anybody in America. It, it just – it's still like – I mean, you can't – you can't go score 16 points against LSU. And I know LSU's got a good defense. At least to this point, they've got a good defense. I get it. But if you're if you're going to hang your hat on tempo and – and and running a, a boatload of plays and and throwing the ball all over the park, um, you can't you can't go out there and score sixteen because that you turn the ball just that style of offense sixteen points ain't gonna get it. You're you're giving you're 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 giving the opponent too many opportunities, way too fast, and it's too difficult to overcome. And so you know I, I, that that game scares me a bit. And, and again, in reality. You know, you look at the a and m and ms offense is, is just absolute trash. They can't score points at all. Um, Arkansas, they for some reason, they started Cade Fortin and should have started the Malik Hornsby kid. But even with that, you know, I look at that, and, and that offense was, was suspect. Um, I just don't know that they've really been, been tested by at this point in time in the season, and I don't trust Mike Leach to make a 12-game run, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I'm with you there. I, I What I like about this is that whoever's calling it, I think it's on the SEC network, they're going to get some throwback picks. Now, this is Leach coaching the O-line at Kentucky back in the day with Tim Couch. Like, this is going to be – the B-roll is going to be fascinating. Yeah. So, tune into that. We're dropping our merch. We got to start calling it Underwood Daddy Brad. But I'm a big yeah. pod guy. Breaking news, the Field of 68 has an online store and it's your one-stop shop for the latest and greatest merch in college basketball and college football. You can find shirts to support your favorite team, make fun of your rival team, or boast Field of 68 catchphrases like Daddy Brad, Cussing and Discussing, and the Star Heels. Go to www.fieldof68.shop today and enter promo code TOUCHDOWN for 20% off at checkout. 